Now get your Bibles out this morning. I want to share this message and get out of your way quickly so that those of you who have things planned with your family and with your children today, you'll have that opportunity to do that. <clears throat> having heard a good word and having been afforded the time to enjoy with your loved ones. Some fathers have probably come in from out of town this weekend just to look at their kids and head back to wherever they are. And so we want to make it uh, a good occasion for you. Today I'm going to be speaking to you out of the book of Exodus. And I'm going to be sharing <clears throat> the story of Moses with you. Most of us are familiar with Moses. The Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 2 that he was the son of a Levite man and a Levite woman. The Bible <clears throat> in that account does not give us Moses' father's name in uh, that particular reference, probably because the story is not so much about him as much as it is about Moses. And, uh, but I, I bring Moses up because uh, whether it's important to the story or not, I, I think, I bring up his father rather because I think it's important <clears throat> to the lesson that I want to share with you guys on this, on this Father's Day. Bear with me, I'm wrestling with a lot here. And the lesson I want to talk about is really the missing father, the missing dad. It's a very common thing now. In fact, the uh, U.S. Census Bureau report from 2020 cites that there are 19.5 million children in the U.S. that live without their biological father. That's a lot of kids. The National Fatherhood Initiative reports that one in three children live without their biological father in their home. One in three. So there's a high chance that a good bit of you here today live without your biological father in your home. The CDC also states that 64% of births to women 15 to 44 are to single women. Single women. And you don't need anyone to tell you that children without fathers are going to have a more challenging time in life. They're likely to experience challenges in their social development, academic performance, emotional stability, future success, an array of things. I am a single. I grew up with a single mom without a dad, so I can certainly relate to that. And the reasons for the absence of fathers can be different things. It could be divorce, separation, military deployment, sometimes it's incarceration. Other factors play into this. And so it's important for you as fathers to hear me well today that as I speak, I'm not judging anyone today. The message may take a short turn. I may say things at times that may be offensive to others, not meaning for it to be offensive. Amen. My heart really is to encourage you today, but the world is so sensitive now that you can hardly make anybody happy without hurting somebody else's feelings. But please bear with me while I share the word today, because I really want to encourage men. And as I speak about the missing father, again, I'm not castigating you. I'm really trying to encourage you. 